no change at all. Today we are going to discuss science chapter number 7, Adaptation in Animals. In this chapter, we are going to discuss about adaptation. That why and how animals adapt themselves to different environments, different kinds of food for protection from danger and how we can care of animals. Now first, we shall understand what is adaptation. Adaptation is an adjustment to the surroundings in which animals live. Means they change themselves to fit in changing surroundings. If they will not change or adapt, they will not be able to survive. Means they will not live, they will die. Children, have you ever heard of dinosaurs? They lived on earth long time ago. There were sudden changes in the climate of the earth and they were not able to adjust or adapt themselves to the changing surroundings. So they died. Animals have special body parts which help them to adapt or adjust to their surroundings. Now first we will discuss animals adaptation to environment. Children, you might have seen animals on land, in water and even in air. You know that they have special features or body parts which makes possible for them to live in a particular place in a particular way. That particular place where an animal lives for food and shelter is called its habitat. So children, as you live in your home, so what is your habitat? Yes, your home. Depending on their habitat, animals can be classified into different types. Aquatic animals, terrestrial animals, amphibians, arboreal animals and aerial animals. Now first we shall study about aquatic animals. Children, animals which lives in water are called aquatic animals such as fish, turtle, crab, duck, octopus, whale etc. They have some special body parts which help them to live in water as fish and crab have gills, whales and dolphins have lungs to breathe, turtles have paddle like feet and ducks have webbed feet to swim easily in water. Next are terrestrial animals. The animals which live on land are called terrestrial animals such as deer, dog, elephant, man, snake etc. They have some special features which enable them to live on ground. For example, the camel which lives in hot and dry deserts has a thick skin to protect it from sun. It can also live without food and water for many days as it stores fat in its hump and can drink up to 20 gallons water at a time. The polar bear and foxes which lives in very cold places, what do they have? Yes, they have thick fur to protect themselves from the cold. It means animals have special body parts to adapt themselves to their surroundings. Children, have you ever heard that some animals sleep for few months? Some animals such as snails, earthworms, crocodile, salamanders sleeps or remain inactive throughout the summer to protect themselves from high temperature. This summer sleep is known as estivation. And some animals like 
bears, squirrels, lizards sleeps in winter to protect themselves from extreme cold. This winter sleep is known as hibernation. So children, summer sleep is known as estivation and winter sleep is known as hibernation. Now we will study about amphibians, the animals which can live on both land and in water are called amphibians. Their bodies are made in such a way that they can live on both. Frogs, toads, salamanders and newts are such animals. They have lungs to breathe on land and they breathe through their skin in water. They also have webbed feet which help them to swim in water. Next we will learn about arboreal animals. The animals which spend most of their time on trees are known as arboreal animals such as monkey, langur and chimpanzee. Their arms and legs are powerful to help them to swing on the trees and their tail help them in balancing and to grip the branch. Squirrels and garden lizards have powerful claws which help them to climb up the trees. Next are aerial animals. The animals which spend most of their time in air such as birds, bats, moths, butterflies are called aerial animals. These have wings and can fly. Birds have hollow bones which make their body light and their streamlined body shape helps them to cut through air easily. Now come adaptation to food. Animals adapt themselves to food according to their body structure and also to what food is available. Depending on food they eat, they are of different kinds such as herbivores, carnivores, omnivores and parasites. First we shall study about herbivores. Animals which eat plants are herbivores such as cow, horse, elephant, goats. These have sharp cutting teeth and strong grinding teeth for chewing plants. Many birds and insects like honeybee, butterfly, hen etc. are also plant eaters. Second are carnivores, animals which eat flesh of other animals are called carnivores such as lion, tiger, leopard, jackal etc. These have sharp teeth and claws for tearing flesh. Some birds like vultures, eagles, kites also eat flesh. These have hooked beaks to tear flesh and sharp claws to catch their prey. Now comes omnivores, animals which eat both plants as well as flesh are called omnivores such as bear, human beings, cockroach and crow. Turtle also eats both plants and small sea animals. Next we will study about parasites. Animals which live inside or on the body of other animals are called parasites such as a worm and roundworm live inside the body. Mosquitoes, leeches and bugs are also parasites because they live on the blood of other animals and have sucking tubes to suck blood. Now we will discuss adaptation for protection. 
children do you know dodos died in mauritius because they couldn't protect themselves from man so it is important for animals to protect themselves from danger animals have different ways to protect themselves some animals like elephant hippopotamus and rhinoceros are so huge some like deer giraffe ostrich have strong legs to run very fast to protect themselves from danger some animals like zebra tiger leopard have strips or spots which help them to march with their surroundings the chameleon protects itself by changing its color according to its surroundings this is called camouflaging it is difficult to spot grasshopper if it is sitting on a green leaf a parrot also gets hidden in leaves due to its green color snails have hard shells and porcupine has sharp spines on their bodies to protect themselves some fish like puffer fish can blow up to a large size to protect themselves from danger now we will discuss how we can take care of animals children you know wild animals live in forests if we clear the forests what will happen to these animals so cutting of trees should be stopped in the forest man kill animals for their skin meat horns and even just for fun also if it continues some animals will be lost forever it will disturb the balance in nature so we should stop killing animals for this many wildlife sanctuaries or national parks has been developed by the government some famous sanctuaries are kaziranga sanctuary jim corbett national park and gir forest here animals can live without fear in natural environment certain species of animals are in danger as the giant panda and the tigers are endangered species children with this we come to an end of our chapter stay home stay safe god bless you